today on Dufresne Faith Journal. I, I still see those books and people sure talk did. about those books and uh -huh. how grateful they are for hair snouts. And one of the things they said, which always blesses me, they said, we know if it had Harrison, on it, Harrison House on it, it was safe to read. Yes. Dad Hagen's ministry is earmarked by the message of faith. Yes. But there were other things that earmarked his ministry. He was very, I would say, adamant about walking in the love of God. Welcome to today's broadcast of the Dufresne Faith Journal. Listen, we've got a treat for you. One of our special friends for many, many, many years, Sister Pat Harrison is with me. Sister Pat, I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. You know, um, there's a good history with your family and, and of course our family, your husband, Buddy Harrison, and my husband, I, I know you remember it. Yes. It was before I was married to Ed. Yes. Yes. They did the meetings. Dr. Sumrall, I don't know if you remember this or ever heard this, he called it the Four Horsemen. Four Horsemen. He did, yes. He always referred, that was uh, Buddy and Jerry Savelle and Ed and uh, Happy Caldwell. Happy Caldwell. And, and he always called them the Four Horsemen. Yeah. <laughs> and you were in those meetings with him? I was them. in those meetings, yes. We had awesome meetings. Yeah. Well, I, the history, I so appreciate the history of the Hagen family in our lives and ministry. You know, um, I get to travel overseas and anytime I go overseas, the Hagen family and the Hagen name is so respected and so yes. honored. And you're part of that. And uh, you and Buddy, of course, Buddy's in heaven now. Yes, he is. He's been gone for how long? 18 years. 18 years, but the ministry still continues. Still continues, yes. I want you to ta talk a little bit about what you and Buddy did together because you had a wonderful church there in Tulsa for years. Yes, um, actually the Lord um, instructed us by tongues and interpretation through uh, myself and Buddy uh -huh. to go back to Tulsa, start a family church, Charismatic Teaching Center and Reach the World. That was in 1977. And so we did that. And um, at that time, in, in, especially in the Tulsa area, there was uh, really no word of true word of faith church. So we yeah. were the pioneering church. Yeah. And so it grew rapidly. <clears throat> and the Lord um, really blessed us. <laughs> and we just did what He said. You know, we taught, we, we had some kind of teaching every night of the week mm -hmm. and of course we had the Sunday services and then Saturday was our intercessory prayer which a group of people from the church came in and they would pray over every chair uh, and just intercede for the service on yeah. Sunday and um, it was such a you know such a blessing for us of course and because we were young and this we'd never pastored before mm -hmm. you know we worked in other ministries. We had been a music and youth director at a church in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And then we worked with my dad for 10 years. And what did you do with him? Traveling with him um, or working in the home base office? We actually set up the home base office. Mm -hmm. um, actually, when, they, when we first started with him, Buddy traveled with him. Uh, they did a lot of driving. So Buddy drove the station wagon with all the materials uh -huh. with my dad, you yeah. know would go from meeting place to place. And then I was in the office, you know. Mm -hmm. The first uh, word of faith we did <laughs> was one sheet that I would type up on the mimeograph uh, <laughs> and then take it to our church and use uh -huh. their machine yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and run it out. And then I would mail them out because we didn't have a large mailing list at that time, of course. Yeah. And um, so that's how we began with my dad. And we just grew from there. And then with the church, with and the Lord really gave us the name Faith Christian Fellowship Church International, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so that's was the name of our is the name of our organization, I should say. And so when Buddy died, the Lord told me He said, uh, "The vision has not changed, neither has your anointing." 
So, and he said, then I am placing some of Buddy's anointing on you as well. Yeah. So I knew that, you know, that meant, okay, you continue this, <laughs> yeah. which I have done. We're um, legal in like, I believe it's uh, 47 nations and we go, we go okay. into about 52 or 53 nations altogether, countries altogether. And we've got churches, of course, we have Bible schools, we have trading schools, we have um, regular uh, school for children, you know, and so there's some orphanages and, and uh, so we're blessed. It's a lot to keep up with, but God has given me wonderful people. In the beginning, when God said, go back to Tulsa, start a family church, a charismatic teaching center, reach the world, Buddy and I both looked at one girl and said, we can't do this by ourselves. <laughs> yeah. We said, Lord, we can't do this by ourselves. Yeah. And he took us over to Chronicles and he said, this is what you stand on. He said, when they were building the temple, he said, I gave them able workmen cunning in all their crafts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they had everything they needed yeah. to fulfill what I had asked them to do. Yeah. So that's what we stand on. Sometimes yeah. I just, things get a little tight and I just go to the Lord and remind him, Lord, you said, and it doesn't matter how long ago we said it. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's still true. It's through eternity. Yeah. His word is eternal. And so there are times, you know, that I take the word, I open it and I say, Lord, you said, Yeah. you know. And so this is the way it is because you said. So not only did you have the church and the outgrowth of that, that, that home base there in Tulsa, you had Harrison House. Yes, Harrison House. And um, you were talking uh, in one of the meetings about, you know, when Ed went to heaven and what you were left with, yes, you know. Yes, yes. Uh, we had about, um, I believe it was eight companies and we had sold three of them. And then we were in the process of selling the rest of them except for Harrison House. We we're gonna keep ha mm -hmm. Harrison House because that was our beginning foundation of company. Mm -hmm. And we were in the middle of all that when Buddy went to heaven. Mm -hmm. So. That was an experience. Yeah. And Harrison House, Sister Pat, through the, especially the word of faith, when that was yes. at its peak, that, yes. that move of God, that era, you took those books and they went all, all over, over the world. world that Harrison House published. Yes, all over the world. And I still, when I go um, to other countries, you know, uh, I still see those books and people sure talk do. about those books and uh -huh. how grateful they are for Harrison House. And one thing they said, which always blesses me, they said, we know if it had Harrison, on it, Harrison House on it, it was safe to read. Yes. And that's such a blessing. That is such a blessing. Yeah. You know, it just ministers to you. And you're still traveling a lot. How much are you traveling? Yes, I travel. Well, I try to pace myself. <laughs> Not as young as I used to be. <laughs> but I, uh, I travel two and three times a month most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, according to, you know, the length of the meetings and stuff. Yeah. If I have a lengthier meeting, it may be only two times a week. But we travel and minister and a lot of good things happen. Well, I know that you and Buddy, particularly Dad Hagen, when you're Dad, but we, of course you let so many other people call him Dad with you. Yes. Because he was our spiritual father and we got to see y'all move together in the things of the spirit and services and the supply y'all brought to that. Being in Dad Hagen's meetings, of course, you saw the spirit of faith. We saw that spirit of faith. We were talking about this at lunch today. Yes, we were. That thank God, Dad Hagen was able to take these wonderful spiritual laws of faith and put them in such easy principles. So basically he put handles on it so exactly. we could handle it so easily. So we could handle it. But the, the principles were no substitute for the doing of no, faith. No, no. And this is, Dad Hagen not only taught the principles of faith, he had the spirit of he faith. He had the spirit of faith, which was the doing, exactly. And it takes both. You know, if you don't have the spirit of faith, then it's just a dead letter, basically. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, it's all great and it's, you know, God's principles, but if, unless you have that spirit of faith so that you can do yes. those principles, yeah. then those it's principles, principles. are not effective left in the form of principles. No, they, were, they are, they are, to are come not. into the form of action. They are very mm -hmm. ineffective without yeah. the uh, putting into action by the spirit of faith. Now, of course, Dad Hagen's ministry is earmarked by the message of faith. Yes. But there were other things that earmarked his ministry. Definitely. Can you um, talk to us about that? One, uh, to me, 
of course. I, I grew up in the home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but one to me was love. He was very, um, I would say, adamant about walking in the love of God yeah. and having understanding of that so that you were not, I have never heard him say a bad or grievous word against anyone. Um, he always tried to uh, think the best of everybody in every situation. Uh, I knew there, I mean, I knew there were times that that was very difficult. Sure. Because sure. of the truth of situations. Mm -hmm. But that did not uh, open him to say anything. You know, he just, mm -hmm. one of the things he said to me one time, because I was going through a difficult time with someone, he said that what you need to understand is if you're going to walk in love, you keep your mouth shut, you pray in the Holy Ghost, yeah. and you speak when words are given. Mm. So to me, Even that's by the Holy by Ghost. The whole, I was gonna say, that's what <laughs> yeah. I was going to say. So to me, that was okay. You listen uh -huh. to the Holy Spirit, and then you speak when you hear those words by the Spirit of God, because those words will be will be wisdom. Yes, they'll be healing. There'll be peace and there'll be understanding. Yeah. Because it's all about who Jesus is. Because the Holy Spirit always brings you Jesus. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's just in me. You know, he said that to me. He told me that one time, but yet he said that to me several times through the years. So, so I those really, three things again are keep your mouth. Keep your mouth <laughs> shut. Pray, pray in, in the, the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Speak, speak when speak, words are given by speak, the Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And that, to me, that was, you know. Key. Yeah, very, very much a, a I call it a word wealth, very, a, because it, oh. Well, I remember in a service, because we got to be in so many services yes. with him, and one time he said something. I depend on my love walk to keep me well in health right. more than my confession of faith. That's exactly right. Because the word says, you know, faith worketh by love. So if faith worketh by love, then your work, your faith is not going to work sufficiently if you don't understand and walk in love. Yeah. Because and what we we need to see is the the Bible doesn't say God is faith and He has love. Uh huh. Yes. It says God is love, mm -hmm. but He operates in faith. That's evident with yes. His speaking forth. Yes. You know, in Genesis one, He spoke light and light was. You know, so. That's his faith. Yes. But his love is who he is. Right. That's who he is. And so when we receive Jesus, it says that when we receive Jesus, that he comes to dwell with us. But not only he, the Father and the Holy Spirit. So they indwell us when we receive Jesus. Yes. So if God indwells us, then it's by the Holy Spirit that when we learn to build that relationship, then it's by the Holy Spirit that we learn to understand, come to understand mm -hmm. that because God is in me, He is love, then I am love. Yeah, yeah. And we can go to 1 Corinthians 13, like 4 through 8. It talks about all that love is. Yeah. And people need to practice well, going to that scripture and yeah. making it personal. And how many times Dad Hagen would remind us, yield to the love that's already in you. In you, exactly. It's already, it's not it's praying already for there. God to give it. No, it's there. It's deciding to yield to it exactly. instead of something else. Exactly. Yeah. And it's just, uh, to me, it's, um, I say it this way, God made us individuals. We're all different, but he gave us all choice. Yes. Now his word is the roadmap of the right choices. But we can choose whichever road we want to take. Right. Whether we want to take his road or we want to take the road of the natural and the world and end up in the devil's territory. Yeah. And it is a choice. And it is a choice. It's not the devil's choice. It's no, our choice. No, it's our choice. It's our choice. That's why it's so important that we keep our mind renewed mm -hmm. so that we know that we can make the right choice. Yes. It's, it's one thing to know we can make a right choice. It's another thing to know that we can do it. Right. And he has given us, he's given us everything we need through Jesus to help us make those right choices. Mm -hmm. But 
you know, we get distracted. Yeah. And then those distractions is where the enemy can take hold. Yeah. Well, I, in, in you quoting that scripture, faith worketh by love, mm -hmm. we, we could say it this way, that faith is the vehicle, but love is the fuel for that thing. Your faith doesn't go anywhere without that that's fuel exactly of right. love that's going. Exactly and right. Dad Hagen so demonstrated that so, yes. so many times. We're so glad you joined us for today's episode. Listen, I know you received a lot in that. And so you don't want to miss the episodes that are upcoming more with Sister Pat Harrison. Again, thank you for joining us. God bless you. Hey, everyone. We want to let you see today some great highlights and clips from our recent women's conference. We had, of course, Pastor Nancy here ministering, uh, Reverend Pat Harrison, and also Pastor Debbie Simons. We had women from all over the country, even Canada, that came in, flew in to be a part of these meetings. We had a wonderful time in the Word and the Spirit, and we hope you enjoy these clips. The reason I love the Holy Ghost is because he's everything to me that Jesus said he would be. If you would get up and say, I move into the mercies that belong to me today. It is a fresh start, a clean page. I am not. I am not, I am not touching in my life and writing yesterday's mistakes on today's page. The only place where you're going to get your confidence and your boldness is from speaking the word that God said. Don't look at your resources. Don't look at what happened yesterday, what you got today. Just know that God is faithful. He gives us his mercies every morning because we need them every morning. Don't let the accuser of the brethren accuse you because you need them. Whenever I so am so aware of my faults, failures, and misses, I've learned to say this, devil, that's why I qualify for a savior. Thank you for watching today's show. Be sure to check out all the latest episodes on our YouTube page. For more information, follow us on Facebook or visit our website at DufresneMinistries.org.